7 and GWN, bringing you the Sydney 2000 Olympics. Walking funny this afternoon, can that? Uh, can you all talk like that? Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Here for a good time, not a long time, Matt Troy. Who do you have this afternoon? Well, Mr. T, joining us today is a girl who loves playing AFL, talking to the animals, and hanging out with her friends. It's Dimity Davidson. Hi, Dimity. Our next player is a rugby league fanatic who'd also like to change his hairstyle and be a footy coach. It's Daryl Monday. And our third player spends his days looking at hot cars and eating marshmallows. It's our Iron Man, Travis McLeaverty. Travis, I tell you what, that would have to be, wouldn't you agree, one of the cutest baby photos we've ever had on the show, wasn't it? Can, can you talk like that, Travis? No. You can't, oh, you can't? OK. Can you walk like this? No. Oh, OK. He's into cars, though, folks. He's into cars, loves the cars. Got a couple of favourite drivers. Who are they? Um, Colin McRae and Victor Bray. Uh, Colin is the rally car driver, yep. and Victor drives the big Chevy, doesn't yep. he? And it's in those special colours. Yep. And he also has another job. Do you know what the other job is? Tomatoes. Yeah, because uh, Troy was telling me before that they reckon he's the fastest tomato grower in the world. Um, do you go out and watch some of the races sometimes? Yeah. And loving cars that much, would you like a, a, a career in, uh, you know, cars or something like yep. that in the future? What would you like to do? Play a rally driver or something. Rally driver yourself. Yeah. Good stuff. Have fun on the show today. We hope it's nice and fast and furious for you. In the middle is Daryl. How are you, Daryl? Good. Daryl, Mundy. You should have been here three or four days ago. How are you, Daryl? Good. That's the way. I wanted to talk to you about uh, winning the grand final. Not just once, twice, three times, four, five, six times he's won the grand final. Rugby league? Rugby yep. league? Yeah. And uh, you're hoping to win again this year? Yeah. What do you what do you put the success of the team down to? Um, defence. Defence. Yeah. Have you scored a few tries yourself in that time? Must be a pretty good feeling. Yeah. Well, good luck on the show today. Make sure you defend well and score a few points. Daryl's in the middle, and Dimity's down there. Hi there, Dimity. You got Hi. all sorts of things here today. Yep. You got these, and you got those, and you got. Is this uh, your little? It's my sister's Tweety bed. Oh, who's your sister? Um, Crystal, she's at home. She'll be watching today. You've got a few people in the family, haven't you? You've got a brother? Yeah. And Crystal? Yeah. What's your brother's name? Brendan. Anyone else in the fam? Um, my mum, dad and my uncle Sean. We'll be watching, supporting you this afternoon. Wanted to talk to you about uh, when you went aquaboarding uh, behind a boat. Tell us about that. Uh, well, what they did was they put a life jacket on you and they threw you off the back of the boat and yeah. they um, asked you to do all these little tricks until you fell off and after you fell off the speedboat, it'd come and pick you up. Oh, that's good. Otherwise, they'd leave you behind. You wouldn't want that to happen, no. would you? Good luck on the show today. Good luck to all of our players. And now let's do it. Let's play Wipeout. <laughs> let's do it. And uh, Dimity, I've got some good news for you because you have won the chance to control our first grid. Let's hear it for Dimity. <laughs> all right, the title now of our first grid on today's show is. Vroom vroom. I tell you what, Travis is going to like this one, isn't he? We're looking for parts of a motor vehicle. So let's go to the game board now for our 16 possibilities. Parts of a motor vehicle, 12 are correct answers. Dimity, you're going to start the proceedings off. 25 points for every correct answer. What would you like for your first selection? Uh, spare wheel. We're going to go for spare wheel. Good choice on the top line. Second one along. Is it right? Off and racing. Vroom vroom category. Good on you, Dimity. Daryl, to you. Um, the exhaust. He's going to hopefully score a few tries here with exhaust on the third column. The third one down. Three and three. What do we have? Exhaust very hot after the car has been running for a little while. Well done, Daryl. Do they call you Dagsy sometimes? OK, well, I won't call you Dagsy then. <laughs> Travis, what would you like? Headlight. Please. You're going for headlight. OK, now, by the way, this is our rally car driver uh, who's going for headlight here, so he should, should know his stuff. Let's take a look at headlight. Important for night driving, isn't it? So, so pretty crazy off. Even scores at the moment. Dimity, it's back to you for your next turn. What would you like? Fan belt. We're going for fan belt this time. OK, top line. Third one long. Parts of a motor vehicle. Is fan belt a correct answer? Yes. Driven by the engine. Dimity's up to 50 points and she's in the lead. Daryl, what would you like this time? Fuel tank. We're going for fuel tank. Second column. Third one down. Is fuel tank a correct answer? Yeah, cars, of course, need fuel to run. And in the future, it might be electric or it might be fuel cells. Who knows? Daryl's up to 50 points. Travis. Differential. We're going for differential this time on the bottom line. It's the second one along. Can we find another 25 points for Trav? Yes, we can. Well done. 
OK, I'll, I'll put you on the spot here, Travis. The, the differential is uh, more commonly known as the... Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Can't give you any more points for that one, but anyway. Play now passes to Divinity. What would you like for your next turn? Ignition coil. We're going for ignition coil. It's on the bottom right-hand corner. Is ignition coil the correct answer? The ignition coil, the internal combustion of the engine. Divinity's up to 75. Wow, we're flying through round one on today's show. Daryl. Water pump. We've got water pump on the first column. Second one down, vroom vroom category. What do we have? Success. Pump cool water from the radio to the rest of the engine. Daryl knows his cars too, and so does Divinity. Travis, it's back to you. Air filter, please. We're going for air filter, and because he said please, I tell you what, we might even give him 25 points. Yeah! <laughs> OK, it's our expert, Trav. Uh, what does the air filter do in, uh, in a car? Puts air into it. Put the, to the carby. Yep, keeps the keeps the dust yep. out. And so, oh, he's good, isn't he? Okay, Devinny, uh, what would you like for your next turn? Uh, cylinder head. We're going for cylinder head. Let's take a look on the first column. The uh, third one down. Is that a correct answer? Twenty-five points for Devinny. Doing extremely well there, Devinny. All right, Daryl, taking good care. There are still uh, four wipeouts remaining on the game board. Mm. The rest are correct answers. What would you like? Transmister. Okay, we're going for the transmister top left-hand corner for Mr. Darrell. Let's take a look. Is it a correct answer? No. Darrell, you know what we would have taken? From 75 back to zero, wiping you out there. We would have taken transmission, but not transmitter, unfortunately, so wiping you out there. Play now passes to Travis. Still three wipeouts and two correct answers. Um, universal joint. Going for the universal joint. On the bottom left-hand corner, is universal joint a correct answer? Yes, it is. Travis is up to 100, getting closer and closer to the end of the round. Hey, Dimity, what would you like for your next turn? Um, silix. Okay, we're going for uh, silix, I think is how you might pronounce this, on the third column. Second one down. Is it a correct answer? <coughs> no. Exploding your score there, Dimity, unfortunately. Never mind, though. You were doing so well up until that point. Uh, shallow drinking cup from ancient Greece is what a silix is. So play now passes to Daryl. Daryl wiped out on your last turn. Uh, two wipeouts, one correct answer remaining. What would you like? Tap it. Gonna go the tap it on the bottom line. Third one along. Can we tap up some points here? Yes, we can. 25 for Daryl. The two remaining possibilities on the game board, the overhead underhang. I think they put that in there to try and trip me up. And the water course on the top right-hand corner. We're both wipeouts. So at the end of round one now, let's take a look at those scores as they stand. Dimity wiped out towards the end there. Never mind, plenty of opportunities, Dim, to make up for that in round two. Daryl had uh, wiped out during the round as well. He's on 25. Travis, our car lover, he's on 100 points. Let's hear it for all of our players at the end of round one. Dimity, Daryl and Travis. We'll be going to the break. We'll come back after the break where we double the points for round two. Catch you shortly for more Wipeout. Welcome back to Wipeout. Good to have you along this afternoon. And now here is Troy to tell us all about the major prize. Troy! Mr. T! Today's winner will be the owner of this very cool Rip Curl prize dash. The pack includes a Wicked Mint Sunray Tidemaster watch, this cool wedge backpack, CD travelling case, superior leather wallet, a cap, plus two pairs of school socks. So now you can play hard with thanks to the team at Rip Curl and Wipeout. Thanks, Troy. The major, would you like to win one of those major prizes? That'll be all right. One of you will be playing for that in round four on today's show. As we head into round two now, let's take a look at those scores. Dim, uh, on zero at the moment, you have control of the grid first up in round two to your advantage, and we hope there's big points in there for you. Daryl's on 25 at the moment. Travis on 100. We wish you all the best of luck, and now let's do it. Let's play Wipeout. <laughs> Double points in round two. We've doubled them from 25 to... <laughs> Very good. The title now of our grid in round two is on the land. We are looking for agricultural regions of Australia. Let's go to the game board now for our 16 possibilities in round two. Not much has changed except for the points, really, and the floor manager. 12 are correct answers, four are wipeouts. Dimity, you're first up. You have control of the grid. What would you like for your first selection in round two? Mount Isa. We're going for Mount Isa on the far column. The second one down is Mount Isa. A 50-pointer for Dimity. Look at that, straight up into second place. Doesn't take long in round two, does it? Daryl, over to you, looking for agricultural regions of Australia. Alice Springs. We're going for Alice Springs this time. OK, it's on the third column. It's the second one down. Is Alice Springs a correct answer? Yeah, a bit like Mount Isa, both uh, beef cattle areas. So play now passes to Travis. Travis, if you're in the outback, you might be driving a four-wheel drive or a truck of some description. What would you like? We're looking for agricultural regions Simpson of Australia. Simpson Desert, We're please. going for uh, Simpson Desert. OK, second column. Second one down, two and two. Do we have 50 for Travis? No, not an agricultural region 
of Australia. A uh, bit of a bit of a desert-like area, Travis. So not a lot would live out uh, in that area in the Simpson Desert. Wiping your score out there, back to zero. Plenty of opportunities to make up for that in round two. Demity, you're in second place at the moment. A correct answer will take you into the lead. Mackay. Okay, we're going for Mackay. Top left-hand corner. Hi to everyone watching us from Mackay this afternoon too. Let's take a look. Is it a correct answer? Yes, intensive tropical farming. And they grow uh, sugar cane up that way. Dimity's up to 100 in the lead. Daryl. Dubbo. We're going for Dubbo on the second column. Third one down on the land category. Let's take a look. Yeah, dairy, grain, spotter crops and other such things. Daryl's up to 125. He's into the lead now. 25 ahead of Dimity. Travis wiped out in his last turn, unfortunately, with Simpson Desert. Uh, Travis, we are looking for agricultural regions of Australia. What would you like? Warwick. We're going for Warwick this time. Bottom right-hand corner. Can we find a big tick? Not just that, but 50 points to go with it. Nice work there, Travis. Warwick, uh, where they have dairy, grain and fodder crops as well. A little bit uh, like, uh, where were we talking about just before? Dubbo, yeah. So, playing our passes to Dimity. Dimity, what would you like? Quilpie. We're going for Quilpie on the third column. Third one down, three and three. Do we have 50? Yes, we do. Sheep and wool and Quilpie. Good on you, Dimity. Back into the lead now on 150. Daryl, what would you like? Um, Ingham. We're going for Ingham. First column. Third one down, Ingham. Chicken, love them, love the points. Not too many chooks up that way, but they've got a bit of tropical farming like uh, cane farming and also forestry up there in agricultural region of Australia. Daryl's up to 175. Travis, you're in control, what would you like? Dolby, please. We're going for Dolby, top line. Third one along, is Dolby a correct answer? Yes, like Dubbo and Warwick that we were talking about earlier. Dairy, grain, fodder crops, all sorts of things out that way. Hi to everyone watching us in all of these uh, places this afternoon too. Playing our passes to Dimity, what would you like for your next turn? Port Augusta. We're going for Port Augusta, the crossroads of Australia. Third column, oh, sorry, far column, third one down. Is it a correct answer? Yeah, they have sheep in that area. And Dimity's up to 200 points. Daryl, getting closer to the end of the round. There are still four wipeouts remaining, uh, three wipeouts remaining on the game board, three correct answers. One of them is the bonus prize. Daryl, what would you like? Geraldton. We're going for Geraldton on the bottom. Left-hand corner for Daryl. Can we find 50 points? Yes, we can. He's up to 225. Still 25 points ahead of Dimity. Travis, what would you like for your next turn? Winton, please. We're going for Winton. OK, there are three wipeouts remaining on the game board. Two correct answers. What do we have with Winton? Sheep farming and wool and agricultural region of Australia. Travis is up to 150. Dimity, it sort of all comes down to you here. What would you like for your next turn? Panama. We're going for Panama. OK, top right-hand corner. One correct answer remaining on the game board. What do we have? Oh. 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 She had done so well building her score up from zero at the start of the round to 200, wiping you out there. It's a Central American country and not an agricultural region of Australia, unfortunately. So nice try, though. Play now passes to Daryl. Daryl, what would you like for your next turn? Shepparton. OK, we're going for Shepparton on the first column. The second one down is Shepparton, a correct answer. Shepparton in Victoria. Tech Tech Mania, with real grip tape and real metal trucks. Get real, man. It's a fantastic Tech Deck world we live in. The bonus for Daryl and uh, the 50 points as well, which takes him up to 275. Well done. That, that actually uh, brings us to the end of round two. The two remaining possibilities up there on the game board, Appleton and Shepard, were both wipeouts. So let's take a look at the scores now at the end of round two. Dimity, unfortunately, wiped out towards the end. Travis managed to build his score up to 150 after wiping out a little bit earlier. Daryl. He took it out on 275. Dimity, we say goodbye to you. Did you have fun on the show today? Thank you very much for joining us. And you don't go away empty-handed. You get these goodies, Troy. Yes, oh, well, I hope you're a bit of a race fan, too. We've got NASCAR's racing your direction. Yes, courtesy of Rebel, you can start building your very own collection of NASCAR model race cars. Made with both finished snap tie parts. There's no gluing, no painting. Instead, you just peel and stick and get on those rolling wheels. Congratulations for the race team at Rebel and the race team right here at for Timothy Davidson from Palm Beach for joining us. Thanks, Timothy. We'll go to the break. Come back after the break for round three. Catch you shortly for more Wipeout. Welcome back. Round three is coming up shortly. Uh, Trav's into cars. Trav, if there was an ultimate car that you could race, what would it be? Rotary. Rotary engine. T turbo? Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, what about you, Daryl? You're into uh, footy teams. Ultimate team you could play for? Broncos. The Bronx, is there anyone else? Now, with our school's prizes, why don't we get Troy today to do a... Imagine he's calling a Victor Bray uh, a door slam a race or whatever. And, uh, Troy, can you tell us all about the school's prizes? Absolutely, Mr T. School's playing on Wipeout today. Take with them a great selection of computer software, which makes learning at school heaps more fun. Oh, oh the edgy maths and edgy English software included gigantic amount of interactive animated fun stuff. With a big thank you to our friends at Educo.
from somewhere. Hot Scholastic New Media in second and wipe out in a very close third. Oh, he's, he's burning run around Troy. Thanks for that, Troy, for all of the schools that come here to support their classmates who've made it through to round three. Travis and Daryl, well done. Got a handshake over there, fellas. Nice stuff. The best of three quick grids. We wish you both the best of luck. And now let's do it. Let's play Wipeout. <laughs> we'll turn the ignition on our first quick grid now. And the title is Under the Sea. We are looking for... Oh, you're going to love this one, fellas. Characters from The Little Mermaid. Let's go to the game board now for our 12 possibilities. Eight are correct answers, four are wipeouts, and here's five seconds. Characters from the Little Mermaid under the sea category. Travis and Daryl are playing. Time is up, fellas. What are you going to go for? Five and four. Travis, you've gone for five. You have control. What would you like for your first um, selection? Ariel. OK, we're going for Ariel, Ariel on the top line. Same thing. The second one along is Ariel, the correct answer. Yeah, Jodie Benson, the Little Mermaid. Travis, four to go. Um, Sebastian. We're going for Sebastian on the top line once again. It's the third one along, right next to Ariel. Is that a correct answer? Yes. <laughs> Two out of uh, five so far. Three to go, Travis. Characters Flounder. from the Little Mermaid. Flounder on the bottom line. The second one along is Flounder. A correct answer? Yes, it is. Three out of five. Two to go, Travis. Frighten. We're going for Triton on the bottom right-hand corner, looking for characters from The Little Mermaid. Is this a correct answer? Yes, Kenneth Mars did that one. One to go to make it five out of four. And Prince, Prince Charming. Prince Charming on the top left-hand corner. Can we make it five out of five for the first quick grid? No, Prince Charming. Trav from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So, play now passes to Daryl. Been having a bit of a think about it, haven't you, Daryl? What would you like? One correct answer will win it for you. Scuttle. We're going for scuttle on the far column. Second one down. Is this a big tick for Daryl? Well, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that, Trav. Daryl taking it away from you there. Back to the game board very quickly for the other correct answers. Flotsam and Jetsam, correct answer. Character from The Little Mermaid. Prince Eric, Carlotta and the rest were all wipeouts. So Daryl has won the first quick grid. Time now for the title of our second quick grid on today's show. And the title is... <laughs> Shelled critters. This one is all about snails and mollusks. So that's what we're looking for, snails and mollusks. Let's go to the game board now for our 12 possibilities. Beats are right for a wrong lookout for those. And here's five seconds to think about your answers. Travis and Daryl, shelled critters, all about snails and mollusks. OK, time is up, players. What are you going to go for? Three and three, three apiece. Travis, you were first in. You need to win the second quick grid to stay in the game. Travis, good luck. We're hoping for you, mate. Permit. OK, we're going for... Permit on the first column. Second one down. Is permit a correct answer? No, it's to allow someone to do something or, or a licence, a permit, not a snail or a mollusk. So play now passes to Daryl. Daryl, all you need to do... And there are eight of them up there. Eight correct answers is find me one of those correct answers. And the second quick grid will be yours, taking you through to round four on today's show. Um, what would you like? The keyhole limpet. We're going for the keyhole limpet. Bottom left-hand corner. Is it a correct answer for Daryl? For the grid. Fantastic. <laughs> Now, you, you sort of had it pretty easy in round three there, didn't you? Didn't have to do too much at all. Listen, commiserations to, uh, to Trav as well. What we'll do is we'll go back to the game board and take a look at the other correct answers and the wipeouts, and then we'll come back to uh, award some prizes to Travis. Starting at the top left-hand corner, Conch, a correct answer. Often a uh, spiral shell that can be used as a, as a trumpet in some of the uh, Pacific Island areas. Gastropod, a scientific name of snails, a gastropod. A limpet. Well, we had the keyhole limpet before. It's a type of snail that sticks to rocks. You probably would have seen those around. Periwinkle, a type of sea snail. Uh, Atrochus is a, a cone-shaped shell. Abalone, um, the flesh can be used for uh, food, food, and also the shells are used as well. And uh, the cowries have a, a very pretty shell, so there are the other correct answers up there. So we don't even need to play this one, the third and final quick grip, because Daryl has one too. We say goodbye to Travis. Travis, did you have fun on the show today? I did. Well, listen, good luck in the future with wanting to be a racing car driver for you. You're going to love this. We had the Revel Race Cars. Let's hear it for Travis for joining us on Wipeout this afternoon. Thanks, Travis. <laughs> Thank you very much. And when we come back after the break, we're going to see if we can't give away that major prize to Daryl with round four. Win it in a minute. Back soon with more Wipeout. See you shortly. <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome back to Wipeout. We've got Daryl Mundy from Corumban. He's on uh, today's show. He plays football, won the grand final six times. His dad's a footy coach. Has your dad coached you for a couple of those grand final wins? Yep, two. Yeah, two. of them? Yeah. That's all right. So he must be a pretty good coach, hey? Yeah. Does he take you to Macca's after the game? Yep. That's all right, because you've said here that it's your favourite food. What's your favourite menu item at McDonald's? Um, the Big Mac. He goes to the Big Mac. Plenty yep. of energy food for, your, uh, for playing the footy, hey? You'd like to change your hairstyle. I, you know, I think, I think the one you have already yeah, is pretty good. Yeah, my mum says to keep it like yeah. this. Yeah. What would you change it to if you could? Um, I'd keep it shorter or either grow, grow it long. Yeah. But I'd rather keep it short. And keep the colour the same or change the colour? Um, I might change the colour of it. Yeah, what would you change it to? Um, to a really, um, bright blonde. <laughs> you wouldn't go unnoticed on the footy field, would you? You'd be like the Dennis Rodman of schoolboy football here in Australia. Listen, good luck with, uh, with the yep. final segment. We'll head to the game board now to take a look at the two subjects that you have to choose from this afternoon. Action-packed, it's a bit like those grand finals that you've experienced in the past. And Gilligan's Goofs, which one would you like? Action-packed. Going for the top one. OK, let me tell you what we're looking for. We're looking for words associated with the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Words associated with the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Let's go back to the game board now for you, Daryl. Take a look at the 12 possibilities. OK, 12 uh, possibilities up there. Six are correct answers. They are words associated with the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games with our action-packed category. Six aren't. If you get six out of six in under 60 seconds, the major prize today, the Rip Curl Pack, will be yours. We wish you the best of luck, Daryl. And your time starts now. Go for it. Okay, it's Daryl Mundy joining us. Go on, Daryl. From Kurumban. That's rugby league. Kachugan. Favourite player is Darren Lockyer. Go on, Daryl. Two so far. Words associated with the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Some of them may be abbreviated as well. Just having a look at the board there. Look at what he's doing. Pretty well. One more. Okay. Okay, racing down now. The computer is going to tell you with 30 seconds remaining on the clock. You've got five right. You've only got to make one change. One is not a word. Look at all the words. Look at all the words. One is not a word associated with the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Come on, Daryl. Come on, you can do it. Taking something else off. Something else off. Yeah, and changing it to something else. What are you going to go for? One other thing. One other thing. Anything. Take a guess. Take a guess. Racing down. Quick, quick, quick. Go, 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 go. And no, quick, quick, quick. Racing back. Make one change. One change. One change. You can do it. You can do it. Change it to anything. Anything. Take a guess. Time. Not a bad effort, though. Five out of six. We haven't quite won the major prize, but uh, Troy Darrell has won this. He has, Mr. T. You're taking home a pack chock a block full of crazy jelly belly gear, an original jelly bean dispenser machine, or one kilo of jelly bean drink bottle butt bag t shirt. Heaps of stuff with thanks to Jelly Belly and a wipeout. That's for you, Dags. Put it there. Uh, the one that you would have needed. SOCOG, the Sydney Organising Committee for the 27th Olympic Games. Thanks for joining us on Wipeout today and giving it your best shot. Thanks for joining us at home. Uh, it's been, a, been a, a pretty fast show, hasn't it? And you made it through, which was just great. So thanks for joining us at home and we'll catch you again tomorrow for more Wipeout. Bye, everyone. See you, Daryl. Tony's dressed exclusively in the hip and fashion from Brothers Nielsen Australia. In the breaks, our audience wet their whistles with Splash, flavoured mineral water, and get stuck in a juicy pack of scrummy smart green jelly beans. Coming up next on GWM, the Power Rangers in the Lost Galaxy, then Wheel of Fortune. This has been a Southern Star concept production for the Seven Network Australia. Seven and GWN bringing you the Sydney 2000 Olympics.